So on this video, you're looking at volatility one, volatility 100 index on the daily time frame, in which, of which is the 24 hour time frame. And then looking at the overall market structure, we have been pushing to the downside. As you can see at the top of the structure, we had like an impulse down and then we had this corrective leg here and then we pushed to the downside and then we had another corrective leg and we pushed to the downside and then we created this large ascending channel of which we are going to analyze it. And then we look for those continuations to the downside just because the overall market structure shows that we are pushing to the downside. So looking at the high point, we have this one here and then we have another one of which we created that mass psychology activation. And then at the top of the structure, we also have like this one here. So we have three POIs of which the, uh, the other one has been tapped already. And then we have the low point of which this is our overall target. And then looking at the structures, we can connect the highs. As you can see here, we have a clear ascending channel with two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom. So initially what you can look for is a continuation to the downside up until this point for your first target. And then the second target would be at the lows. And then looking at the structures, now we can just evolve it to this one here. And then after doing that, we also have some type of an ascending channel within an ascending channel within this area here, of which we are going to analyze it on the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we have that ascending channel clearly shown to us just because we have this, these highs that we can connect. And then we also have like these lows that we can also connect. And then we have the 90% rule, obviously, just because we can have like a movement coming from this point here up until the 90% of which is this one here. And then we can have a larger flag that will form up up until we can complete like the overall move. So looking at the top of the structure, I can just remove like this uh, POI just because it has been already tapped. And then looking at the top of the structure, we have a clear double top that has formed around this area. And then you can just drain out like your trend line just like this. So looking at the current structures, we are selling as you can see here. Then on the hour time frame, that is where we are going to look for entries. So we are on the hour time frame. So looking at the one hour time frame, we have been pushing to the downside very nicely. And then we haven't been uh, we haven't created like some type of a larger flag just because we have this as our tight flag around this point of which it's some type of a descending tight flag. And then we have this pattern here, an expanding pattern. If your pattern separate each and everything, and then we have this pattern here that we should be working with so that we can get like good entries. So we have two touches at the top and then I think we have two touches at the bottom. So obviously we have this expanding pattern. And then as you all know, an expanding pattern, you can take it in two ways of which the first way is that you must have like a push to the upside of which you get like this corrective move up until we reach this area, we create a double top formation. And then that is where you can take your first sell of which it's a high probability setup is because you are staking like your confluences together so that you can get like a yeah, trade. And then this is the first target of which is the third touch of this expanding pattern. And then looking at the overall target would be this as your second target for about 10%. And then we aim to get like an overall trade of which it should be like 31% if you get it right on the top of the structure. And then the second scenario would be taking a trade at the top of the structure, third touch of which it would be like this. So removing this marker here, then you have your first touch here, you have your second touch, and this is the middle section. Then you expect the market to clearly push to the upside to create your first touch, second touch, and then the third touch here. And then not forgetting that you must wait for a clear uh, candlestick confirmation at the top of the structure so that you can take your sell opportunity. And then your stop loss can be just above this area here. And then the first target is the same as the other one that I showed you. First target, this one here for about 4.3%.
second target would be at the outer structures for about 9.3. And then the overall target would be at the lows for about 27%. And then the last scenario that I'll be looking at would be uh, a trade whereby we get like a double top formation at the top of the structure. And then after that, we get like an impulse to the downside. And then we wait for a first tight flag. So initially, that would look like this. This would be the ray line that we should be putting on. And then we have a clear push to the upside very correctively, of which it should be structurally forming. And then you get like that double top formation in form of an override. And then you get like the first tight flag around this area here, just like this. And let me just change. So this is the formation that I'll be looking for if I'm not into risk entries or into like those overrides that I talked about, like taking an entry around this area here and then you get the double top and then you sell off from there. So I'll be waiting for these uh, two scenarios whereby if I don't get like a risk entry at the top of the structure just like this, then I'll be taking the first tight flag of which is this one here. And then initially the trade would be like this, and this is the first the first tight flag, and then we have the ascending channel at the top of the structure, just like this. Then you take your sell opportunity just below the structures, and then your stop loss can be just above this area. And then the same targets as the other two scenarios that I showed you. This is the first target, second target on the outer structures, the overall target would be at the 90% of which is this one for about 20% of which is okay. And then yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took some value and then I'll see you on another one.